Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. We are back, darlings. We are back in the building. The classic, everybody's favorite, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. As of right now, my favorite is still Love and Hip Hop Miami. So that means this up and coming season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta and the next season of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, they're really going to have to bring it. They really gonna have to bring it because, in my opinion, Love and Hip Hop Miami is winning this season. Definitely winning. Okay, so let's give a couple of happy birthday shouts out. I haven't did their whole post like I usually do yet, um, where I create a happy birthday post for whatever celebrity birthday it is. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at it's Kings World. It's Kings World. I-T-S-K-I-N-G-S-W-O-R-L-D. Okay. Um, happy 32nd birthday to Janae um, Iko. Happy 23rd birthday to Tyler Jackson Williams. This is a picture of him. Recognizable face. He is, um, it's three of them. It's three brothers. Um, Y'all know Tyler uh, Jackson Williams is his name. Anyway, um, the boy from Everybody ha Hates Chris. That's his older brother. And he's in the middle and then it's a little brother. Um, let me see. Basketball player Blake Griffin. Is he mixed? Blake Griffin? I've seen him before, but I don't really know much about him. Handsome dude. Uh, let me see. Damani Harris, which is T.I.'s um, second oldest son. He turns 19. Um, Sierra McLean. Um, of the McLean sisters. You know, Lauren and China McLean. Daddy's little girls. She's the oldest daughter. Uh, she was the oldest little girl. You know, now she's all grown up, child. Her day. She turns 26. Wow. Time flies. Anybody else? Nope. Oh, yes. Flavor Flav, child. Of course, the classic. Flavor Flav. Flavor Flav turns 61, child. Still wearing up clocks. I know that's right. Okay. So, Love Hip Hop Atlanta, finally, 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 after fighting on this show, after giving her complete all on the show, Sierra, the glam bar owner, she finally has a certified spot on the show as a main cast member, finally. So, it's all the old people from last season. So, we have Rashida, we have Mimi, we have Carly, we have Spice. Um, we have Scrap DeLeon, Stevie J, Young Jock. Um, who's been added to the list is, um, I believe, just um, Sierra and Lil Scrappy. Who's been on there? I don't know why he... But, you know, the very first man they started as a main cast member was Stevie J. And, you know... Now they, you know, added a couple. So this is good. The young jock, and, and you know, he he deserves it for sure. Little Scrappy been on there since the beginning. Um, he deserves it. So you know, Sierra been putting in time. She been putting in work on this show. Acting a fool, child. She should have been a main cast member, but now she's definitely here. I have not seen Tokyo Tony yet. Tokyo Vanity yet. Um, I mean, I'm I'm assuming that she's coming up at some point. Um, you know, throughout the season, I, I don't think she's, I don't think we're going to see that much of her, but you know, we're going to see. Okay. So shouts out to Sierra, child. She made it. She made it to the big leagues. Okay. Um, Rashida and Kurt, they opened this Briscoe, um, and you know, they got family working in there, so they got their kids, um, which is mainly Kirk kids, but you know him and Rashida share a um, two kids together. Uh, one of their older boys and and um, the little baby boy Carter. And so um, that you know they they've been together for twenty years, so you know that's their kids. 
Uh, so they're working in the in the kitchen and stuff, and you know, it's family, so they ain't doing what they're supposed to do. They know, you know, my parents ain't gonna get on me like somebody else would if this was actually if this wasn't family. They worried about Miss Charlene, which is Rashida's mother. She's doing something. I didn't quite catch it. She's stealing money. Or she buying clothes, or I don't know what Miss Charlene doing, but Kirk is is not here for it, and you know Miss Charlene really had never been here for Kirk, and you can't really blame her um, at all because they'd have been through a lot. But um, I was like, wow, Rashida's Rashida's just such a beautiful woman. She really is just naturally just so so pretty. She really is. She looks good in any hair color for real. Um, so the Bambi, we're going to see a lot of the Bam. Not too excited about that. I guess I have to deal with it, right? I just don't like, it's something about Bambi I don't feature. It's something about, I can't really put my finger on it, but I just feel like she just has a nasty disposition about her. There's something about her that's very just, you know, stank. I don't know. But, um, anyway, the Bam, you know, um. You know, she's doing her thing, you know, with Scrappy. We see the little boy who looks just like Bambi. Cute little boy. And, um, you know, they're talking and stuff, trying to make things work. And, you know, just doing the family thing. Then all of a sudden we see Mama D. We find out Mama D had kidney stones at some point and they ruptured at some point. And, you know, it caused an um, infection in her body. And, you know, since then, it's been multiple surgeries, you know, back and forth to the doctor. Um, and so, you know, we worried about Mama D, but, you know, God keeps the fools here. So, Mama D going to be all right, child. I promise you, she's going to be all right. She's a strong woman. You know, it's, it's not um, it's not a good feeling to see Mama D. He's usually up and having fun, adding a fool to see her in this down place. So, you know, hopefully she's going to be all right. But I got a feeling she's going to be all right. I talk to God, you know, every night. So he told me, Mama D, you're going to be all right, girl. Calm down. But he do want you to stop drinking, Mama D. Apparently, allegedly, she got in this situation due to her heavy drinking. Um, so hopefully she can get that under control. Because we need Mama D. Mama D is probably one of the only mamas we like. Now that I sit back and think about it, probably, yeah. Okay, um... Sierra, we see Sierra's daughter, uh, who looks just like her, and we see her son, who looks just like Shooter. Dear God in heaven, that little boy looks just like Shooter. The big eyes, just uh, them cheeks. That uh, they Shooter child. They shoot to shoot. So um, we see Sierra, the glam boner, and you know she is in a case battle. Side note, I wonder if they're going to talk about the whole thing with um, Sierra's daughter allegedly getting into a fight with some girl at school and then that girl's mother coming there to fight Sierra's daughter. Y'all remember seeing that? I wonder if they're going to talk about it. Who does that? I, I, child, you worry about this little case, about this child. You need to be, uh, you, you need to gladly go on in there, go on to the jailhouse. If that lady really came to that school and actually put her hands on your daughter. Child, please. Off. Off with it, darling. So, um, Sierra, she's in this case with Shooter's baby mama. Apparently, was it at the funeral at Shooter's oldest son who passed away? Was it at the funeral or something? But anyway, at some point, Sierra's, um... Shooter's baby mama, other baby mama, Sierra's one of them, but you know, I don't know how many baby mamas he got, whatever. But anyway, one of Shooter baby mamas, which who is, you know, y'all know Shooter's child, ain't it? He's also Sierra's ex husband. <laughs> Apparently, she said that Sierra tried to beat her ass while she was pregnant, which is not true. So, Sierra goes up to the bowling alley where um, Shooter was having a, you know, it's just a celebration of life for his son who got shot, I believe. And, um, you know, she wanted to talk to him. She was, he was like, she was like, look, I need you to come to uh, the courthouse so that you can testify. And maybe they'll drop the car charges and stuff. He was like, man, I ain't doing that. I ain't no snitch. I ain't nothing like that. And, and then he gonna say his, his confessionals. He was like, he knows Sierra probably didn't do that. But, you know, I vowed 
to never step foot foot in a courtroom again after I dealt with all my legal stuff with my son and everything. I vowed to never step in courtroom again. So for your other kids, if they were in a situation, would you not go to court just because you vowed to never step in court again? And all that stupid shit. I was just like, oh my god, the ignorance. I I, I cannot. I can the things that people are scared of. Black folks, we got some stuff to work out with us. We really, really do. You sit up here scared and, and nervous and acting a fool about um, uh, uh, court, but you walk past gunfire every single day and don't even bother you. It doesn't make sense. I don't know. And I'm from the hood, but maybe I'm just not that hood. Maybe that's it. But it, it's just... The, the things that people make up in their head and expect for us to just sit back and take it and understand it. it it's crazy. And plus, you know, he's also being petty and spiteful. I guess he felt like Sierra left him to dry at some point. But Shooter, you were the one that cheated on Sierra. Weren't you the one, Shooter, that was cheating on Sierra with Mo Raya, her, her one of the employees in her shop? One you and and whoever else that you've been cheating with, cheating with. Why are you trying to punish Sierra? You did her dirty. Oh, because she wasn't with you for something. So she's supposed to take all your shit, and then when you land in unfortunate events, she's supposed to all of a sudden forget that and be there for you. I mean, she was there when it counted, when it came to your son, because you know that was her son too, her stepson. But, I mean, for any other stuff, what does that have to do with her? You hurt her, sir. What's wrong with him, y'all? So, Sierra had a scene with Scrappy, Bambi, and BK. Sierra, why are you still with BK? So, Bambi was talking to, um, to Sierra, and BK and Scrappy was trying to skate. And um, was just like, yo... I was like, what's going on? And, you know, see, I was just like, well, friend, you know, I got um this court case and stuff coming up. And, you know, I'm nervous because, you know, I asked Shooter. I was like, yo, Shooter, I got this court case coming up and stuff. And, you know, I'm the glam bar owner. And I can't be away from the glam bar no long and stuff. And, you know, friend, it's just crazy. It's just stressful. I don't want to go to jail. You know, I was like, oh, I just want to hug her. Um... You know, hopefully Sierra be alright. How evil are people, right? To say that Sierra beat the dog shit out of you while you was pregnant. Knowing she did. How People are so evil and spiteful. Don't nobody won't shoot a child but you. You're free to have them. Oh, Lord. People are so petty. Okay, so... Let me see. So there was a scene with um, Kirk and Rashida. They are celebrating... 20 years of um, marriage. They like say, you know, everybody look it up to look up to Kirk and Rashida say they're a staple couple and they couple goals. And I mean, are they? <laughs> Rashida's a real good one. Because putting up with the stuff that Kirk done put her through. I mean, time and time and time again. Not just one time. But time and time and time again. She's a real good one. She deserves all her flowers. She deserves all the Grammys. She deserves all the awards. Because she's a good one. And it's not just... That's the biggest thing. Him having a baby on her, allegedly. Because we're still not completely sure if the little baby is Kirk's. But anyway. Um, him having a baby... On her, you know, that's the biggest thing. But I mean, you know, he done cheated allegedly, did stuff allegedly way before the baby got here with other women. So I mean, if if being in a loving marriage and 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 then you know, taking all the person's crap that they put on you, if that means that your couple goes, then I guess. <sighs> okay, so um. Kendra, who is Jock's um, current fiance, I like her. She got her head on straight. She's a lawyer. She ain't for no mess. 
she took Jock to the doctor to get his um, a vasectomy. And, you know, he's not feeling, you know, men ain't for no vasectomies and all that. And, you know, she was just like, look, I just want to be responsible for, with my reproductive organs. And I, you know, in so many words, she was like, God forbid we break up and you get me pregnant. I'll just be sitting here stuck with a baby and just be just like the other baby mamas. And that's not my testimony. I appreciate that way of thinking. I feel like more women should think like that. For sure. And a lot of people, you know, they had made some comments under my um, Twitter saying all kinds of stuff. Um, but I'm going to stand by my, po that by my post where I said that it's a double standard. You know, if women have a bunch of kids, it's almost expected for her, after so many kids, to have a, um, get her tube tied. It's like, oh no, you, you got that many kids? Oh no, it's time to get your tube tied. Oh, you that age? It's time to get your tube tied. But men don't have that same right? Why is it disrespectful to tell a man to get a vasectomy? But both women, other women and men, tell women to get their tube tied. So what's the difference? You know, men can go out there and have how many, however many babies. But women are looked at, frowned upon when they have a bunch of kids by different men. I guess. Uh, let me see. So, uh, child, everybody's there pretty much at um uh, <coughs> at um. A Rashida and Kirk's anniversary. It was cute. Um, and. You know. All of a sudden we see Akbar. Walk it up with. Alexis Sky. Alexis Sky. According to her. Allegedly Carly Red said that she's going to spit on her mother. And every time she see her is on or something. Allegedly, Alexis Sky used to go with Mo back in the day before Carly or while he was with Carly. And I guess that stemmed from their beef. And maybe Carly got into it with some one of her Alexis Sky people. And, you know, that started that whole moment. I don't know. It's stupid. I know that. How do you come to somebody's party that you wasn't even invited to and show out? Who does that? The amount of class and tact and coof that you have. And in Akbar, apparently she said she can't do nothing. She just had the sleeve. So I'm assuming she's talking about the gastric sleeve that she just had. Well, why is your ass there? You out there starting drama and you still healing. People's priorities are just funny. They really are. Um. So, you know, Alexis, she pretty much walked right on up to, to um, Carla was just like, so what's up? So you said on site, right? Carla was trying to act like she didn't hear her. And Carla was looking around to my, oh, you ain't nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. Da -da 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 -da. Um, so I was like, oh, Lord, what's going on? And, you know, Carly, of course, y'all know Carly, child. She gets up when security's around. So Carly gets up. She's trying to, you know, hop over the couch and stuff. And this is my city. You're in Atlanta. And, that child, they broke it up. Rashida walked off mad as hell. They ruined her on party. What's going on with Alexis? Alexis, you done been on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, Love Hip Hop New York, and now you're on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I guess you're going to be on Miami next season. They'll get you a role. What's going on with you, Alexis? My God, just being passed around and passed around and passed around. Uh, let me see. Oh, earlier there was a scene with um little Eva, Stevie J, and me, me, false baby. She turned ten and she wanted an African theme party. It looked fun. Um, so you know, a couple of people showed up for that, and that was nice. And Mimi said that her and Jocelyn has not spoken on the phone, but they have some kind of understanding, I guess. So, <coughs> escape. What I need from you is understanding. Okay. The last scene was Carly walking into a church or a funeral home and she's walking right up to a casket and we see that she invited everybody there. 
And so we're going to see what's going on. My mom told me who died. And it was like, oh my gosh, is Carla dead? I was like, no, that hoe ain't dead. She's sitting right there looking over the casket. Carla's very dramatic, as we know. So I'm sure she has a whole story. She probably has a dummy laying down there in that casket. Um, and then she's going to, you know, say a speech or something. I don't know. But we're going to see. This is a pretty decent episode. First episode. Oh, uh, not forget anything. The up and coming season it looks like it's going to be crazy. Crazy. Where is, um, what was her name? Estelita? Stevie J's girl after he left John Slynn or they broke up or whatever they did. What's her name? Is it Estelita? The, um, Panamanian goddess. Where's she at? With that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at It's Kingsworld on Instagram and Twitter. At It's Kingsworld 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned. I'll see you guys there.